Kumar, today I am talking about an automation service. I have connected Ada Forms. Ada Forms is like website, uh, a contact form plugin. So I connected this on my website. Okay. I, I used to get inquiries from the people. Secondly, I, I want to make an automation saying like the user given details are right or wrong. And after that, after verification of user email ID, I want to store this data into Google Sheet. So there are some automation tools can pull the data from one application to another application, from another application to another application. So one, uh, I mean, heavily used product or famous product is Zapier. So people will use this. I mean, mostly the reason for uh, uh, initial stage, it is okay because uh, uh, it is for free on 100 tasks per month. But uh, if your usage is increased, okay, your cost will also be increased. I am currently using more than 5,000 tasks per month. So it is costing me a lot. So I come across another tool called Pabli. So this is uh, Pabli and uh, they have very good reviews. I seen that, I mean, it has 100,000 plus business are using their products. So they recently launched a product called Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an alternative to Zapier. Okay. By using Pabli Connect, you can do the same automation and their pricing is insane. Very affordable for every, everyone can use it and the limitations are very high. So their pricing, you get 12,000 tasks or operations per month at only $9. This is insane price, 12,000 tasks. So after I like their pricing, I started evaluating the company. Company is a very good company. It's a 80 years old company. They have a very good reputation in the market. So I started using this product. Okay. So this, my review is going to talk about how Public Connect will do the automation. Let us take one example. Uh, so this is a contact form of Ada form. So I'm filling some data. I'm writing my contact details and just click on continue and giving some data here. Okay and some auto uh, appointment form and clicked on submit. This data is storing. This is going to store in Ada form uh, in appointment. Uh, just a minute. I'll show you in this uh, response box. The data got stored. Okay. So this is the, this is the uh, data has stored into the Ada form. Now I want to verify this data is right or wrong. Okay. So for that, I manually pull this data and again, verifying that in a true mail. This is also doing every time this activity is a tedious task. I can't do it all the time for doing this. Secondly, I want to store this data in a Google sheet. Now I'm going to make an automation in public connect. So I just created an account. Okay. So after you create an account, I, you, uh, I bought it a $9 plan. Okay. Uh, 12,000 tasks per month. So right now it is an offer. Uh, it's a limited time offer. So I access the, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I haven't a chance to get that. Uh, so then click on access now. Okay. Then you came to the, uh, workflow. So I'm creating a new workflow saying like testing. Ada form leads to Google sheet. Let us say this is what I'm, uh, or else, uh, uh, we do Ada form then uh, true mail, then Google sheet. So this is, we are going to use. So first data will come to Ada form. Then it will be verified on true mail. Then it will go to go and save in Google sheet. Okay. So we'll follow the step, step by step process. Let us take the Ada form and, uh, you need to connect the Ada form API key here. So I'll go and get it. My account and settings. This is the API key I saved here. Connecting this on, uh, here in my API key and saving this and testing which which I am going to use for 
uh, appointment booking save this and let us test whether it is pulling the data from the data form or not it is pulling the data created at fields all this data is coming but data form is giving the data all in a single uh, column okay i need to differentiate this so what i'm going to use is i am first time in uh, i am using json factor like json data connect with json extractor the data i am extracting is what i am doing is i am it has lots of fields so i am moving all the fields into different different individual uh, i mean uh, individual uh, check boxes or i mean individual boxes so that i can use them okay i am differentiating e each one of them with a name so save this and then send test request so it is differentiated what's your name full name email all the data is differentiated here okay value 0 this one differentiated save this and send test request now i am now the data is uh, going i mean it, it is differentiated now i am connecting true mail true mail also given me an api key let me use that oh uh, api keys no this one no let me create one api key this is i copied the key and now uh yeah connect with the true mail i pasted the api key from true mail and saved it and the email address email address this one this is my email address which we pulled okay save send test request so this is a valid email we can also verify back in uh, true mail history oh, just a minute where we can check that usage yeah we just verified this email id valid or else we will try with some dummy one so that you'll understand it appointment booking i'll intentionally i'm giving a wrong email id here let us check uh, this is a wrong email id let me try to pull this email and verify with true mail let us do that and i'm rechecking that send to save it Send test request. So this is normally will happen because uh, we created uh, whenever a new response comes. This will uh, now it is in testing. Uh, from after launch this, it will work automatically. okay now i am storing this data into google sheets connect with google sheet let me create uh, one google sheet i am creating a test google sheet now let us see abli automation test so let me name this like this email i am creating headers email validity well status okay whether it is valid or not i will get an update here uh connect 
I connected my email. I'm connecting it. Hello access. And Google Sheet Pabli automation test. This is the latest one we created, right? This is Pabli automation test. So the name of sheet is sheet one. Values are. We need to. Uh, you need to read this. Enter the row values within double quotes to be inserted in the sheet. Example value one for a new. Uh, for a row, use comma separated values. Okay. Uh, I want to display. First time in email, right? Let me display the email. And this should be in uh, inverted commas. For the statement should be inverted commas. Next comma. As per the below instructions, I am doing it. I already tested it. That is the reason I am little doing it fast. Uh, well, this is a reference for you to do it the next time. Status result. Okay. Save. And let us send test request. This send detail should go and save it in Google Sheet. Yes, it was saved automatically. Okay. And save. So this is a multi-step uh, process. What I done is I first connected with Ada form, pull the data from Ada form, then I use JSON e extractor for uh, differentiating the data. Then I verified the uh, uh, data with a true email. I verified actually an email address. Then I stored that data into Google Sheet. Okay. So this is insane, guys. Uh, uh, this is at very low price. I suggest everyone to start using this Pabli Connect. It will save you a lots of time in automation, and secondly, it will save you money also. Hope my review help. I uh, mean, it's a great help for helpful for you. Thank you very much. You can uh, subscribe to my channel if you, if you need it. If you find this content is helpful, you can uh, join to your channel. And the link for this uh, product is given below for a special price. Okay, you get a special price on my link. You can. Uh, Try below link. Thank you very much.